Welcome to Wait A Minute It's Advent on the first Saturday of Advent. Today our reflection is from Rick Slatter, the Youth Ministry Coordinator for the Parishes of the Holy Family in Hartlepool. Let us pause and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, as we take part in the Advent journey, may we experience you walking alongside us as we go to a new place in our hearts where we experience afresh your merciful love as we journey to the stable may we have the courage strength and determination to walk with others so together we come to know you more fully and in a new way this advent loving lord journey with us today tomorrow and always. Amen. Did you know that of all the people who have successfully reached the summit of Everest, 56% of them have died on the way down? Could this mean that Miley Cyrus had it wrong all along? Maybe it's not all about the climb. Are we prepared for a successful descent? I keep hearing people talk about getting to a new normal, but especially since this second lockdown was announced, I've realised that there's nothing normal about the world right now. Things are going a bit downhill, but I'm not ready to abandon all hope. The message of this season of Advent is that there's always light in the darkness, always hope amidst despair. And for me, that hope is a person. At every step, no matter how uncertain and rubbish things are right now, I believe Jesus is walking with me. Advent is about the hope that is to come at Christmas, but it's also about the hope that dwells among us right now. And ultimately, as Julian of Norwich reminds us, all shall be well, all manner of things shall be well. And as Dev Patel added in the best exotic Marigold Hotel, everything will be all right in the end. And if it's not all right, it's not the end.